baby. Let's go. Oh, we still spinning, baby. We spin the win. We spin the win. Bop. Oh, one shot, buddy. There we go. Oh, dude, you thought. Oh, man, you really thought, huh? They've got more troops than we do, but we counter them. You can literally see the waterfalls coming out of this city. Guys, we are on the world map, and there's this level of detail. We are finally about to play Age of Empires Mobile for the very first time, and there's no point in waiting. Let's just jump right into it. It was once thought that the reign of the Empire would last as long as the eternal sun, but... With the sudden passing of the great emperor, order collapsed overnight. Unchecked, barbarian raiders brought destruction and chaos to the land. Crown Princess Josephine broke through the enemy's siege with the last remnants of her army. Moments before the capital fell, that looks sick. And took refuge in the less populated Titan city. She aspired to reclaim the fabled Holy Sword, rally more men to drive back the barbarians, and restore the Empire's glory. There are too few of us, Your Highness. Obtaining the Holy Sword is important, but not at the cost of your safety. The barbarians have seized the Imperial capital. Now, the Holy Sword is our only hope. I thought the Holy Sword is just a myth, your highness. Titan City is just ahead. Let us hope we arrive before our enemies. I love it. We get straight to the point. There's bad guys. We got to kill them. Before we go any further, of course, what's going on, guys? Cheers. Okay, drag the portrait to move the troop. Okay, so here we can see we can move around. Open field movement, baby. Let's drag it right to the middle of the bridge. Surely this is a very safe bridge to cross over, right? We see some crumbles going down the waterfall. Like, that's probably... Uh, okay, let's, let's, let's get off the bridge. Okay, let's get off the bridge real quick. My lady, watch out. Okay, so we see that there's a, a crumbling tree over here let's go ahead and walk down this way bodies are lying everywhere Ooh, let's go to the body can we help the body villagers body this unfortunate individual who met their demise a few days ago bears the marks of being ravaged by wild creatures oof okay let's go ahead and walk on over here hopefully we don't end up being uh, one of those corpses That's my dude right there. Uh, I fear this is where we part. My steel rose. Find the holy sword and save our empire. Carl, you are the last one to call me that. I swear that you will not die in vain. Yo, shout out to Carl, bro. Just passed away. Okay. Now, really quick, I do want to thank Age of Empires Mobile for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to play the game right now for soft launch, it is available in some countries and you can click the link in the description below to either play today or pre-register for launch in your country. More details are going to be in the description and the pinned comment below. But of course, the game is absolutely free and downloading with my link helps out the channel a ton without generous sponsors like age of empires mobile i wouldn't be able to do what i do on youtube so please consider trying the game today and i will see you in kingdom five let's head on over here search the damaged house where's the damaged house looks like we've got some villagers over here can we talk to them you can see my hp actually went down there this house looks shabby but good enough we'll, we'll make a little camp over here repair the damaged house bada bing bada boom you can see we're building a nice little uh, nice little tent over here that's cute we can train more villagers your highness okay let's go ahead and train them and looks like we can train six we can train six villagers investigate the villagers body Okay, let's go ahead and uh, walk on over here. Barbarians destroyed everything and killed these locals. Trace the blood and continue the investigation. This will be very fun. <laughs> Bloody barbarian. I will make that your last word and sacrifice your head to the deceased. Your Highness, to attack Erdin, drag the icon on the right to him. All right, let's go ahead and let's kill this dude. Let's kill this dude. He got nothing on me, bro. I, it looks like he has more soldiers, but that doesn't matter. We're going to pop off about to pop off your angry face is far more amusing than those crying villagers and look at that look at that we killed him what, what, what did he think he was gonna do you know what i'm saying like what a piece of trash let me go if you dare lay a finger on me a teak of the bloody hand will lead hundreds of warriors to pulverize you all do you crave death fools sounds like this is a man that we're gonna we're gonna kill this dude and we're also gonna kill his other dude uh nah you're done 
you're done i said i will sacrifice your head to the deceased and i tend to keep my word you're dead no no you won't oh i will bop oh one shot buddy one shot oh gg yo gg that's sick atika has plundered the place and probably already took the holy sword we have no choice but to fight him ahead head on okay transform the abandoned house into a swordsman barracks on the base we'll soon complete the construction okay perfect let's go and do it oh my god dude i love the graphics here these are like these are like nostalgic like early 2000s like late 90s it's like it's upgraded it looks better than that but it reminds me of that we should gather food from nearby sheep oh we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to hunt these little sheep yo honestly i love sheep lamb ooh, it tastes so good dude okay there we go poor little baby we're gonna have to i'm sorry but like we have to survive also my health is at half so okay you can see we commanded the villagers to do that your highness we're ready to train more swordsmen go ahead and train them and you'll see it costs 60 food here for 20 swordsmen so that's gonna be nice soldiers i once wished to lead you away from war but here we are with the empire torn and families broken there's no place to hide soldiers my brothers in arms my family for the empire and our home for the alliance gather information on the barbarians and their city defenses all remaining soldiers form up and fight with me okay so we're gonna i guess we're gonna scout out the other dude defeat the elite barbarians okay walk on over here and we come to a crossroads Ooh, well the guy did say he was north so that's probably this way right yes sir i knew it okay oh oh we already got some people fighting over here oh let's let's hop in let's pop off baby we're not gonna let you guys fight alone absolutely not you're dead drag josephine out of the arrow towers radius oh my bad oopsies oh so we we actually just kited did we actually just kite him okay now we get to okay now we're gonna take out the tower okay drag josephine out of the arrow towers radius but i'm trying to demolish it pal there it is the tower's down everyone time to focus the attack on the enemy let's head on over here we got pretty much full health so i think we're gucci i think we're fine here we are we found atika the empire's crown princess josephine the steel rose i had my men plow through over half your empire oh this dude's head is going on the pike for sure how interesting it's nothing compared to my own blade oh you think it it still draws a homeless rat to me tika i will punish you for your crimes yo you're about to get wrecked pal your head will be a crown jewel that's a big old horsey i'm gonna be honest with you that is a that is quite the horsey all right folks the battle of the decade here commander skill unlocked oh we're gonna we're about to pop off all right so we're dealing 23 damage per turn it looks like so this is good and was that my skill did i just use my active skill war tramples being charged up quick interrupted okay let's interrupt quickly interrupt boom there he goes this is the kind of plan i've been after the pain i've been after oh okay he he likes it cute flames of death can i walk out of that aoe let me just go ahead and walk out of the aoe oh you thought oh i dodged you boy i dodged you boy what you think huh what you think there it is dude josephine you cannot stop what is to come the future belongs to us nomads let me go ahead and grab your treasure is the blade in here do i get the blade from this treasure chest right here we do the broken holy sword we're gonna have to fix that your highness the holy sword it's rusty and worn its power withered away through the ages we must charge it up through battles and constructions oh okay all right so we've taken over their camp i think in the name of the holy sword i shall use these spoils to rebuild the town and establish our new homeland yes your highness all right we got the squadron we're making progress here ladies and gentlemen we've taken out two savage barbarians already so what is this what do i get here oh we can train villagers so let's do that now i know that i'm kind of ignoring the uh i'm kind of ignoring the tutorial here but bro this is dude this game looks beautiful oh my god oh my god this okay this actually looks gorgeous and the camera moves with the terrain oh my god you can zoom in on everything look at the trees blowing in the wind i remember watching a few months ago i made a video kind of showing off some of the different footage that we got from the from the game like a little bit early i was wondering like how good is the game actually going to look and now that i'm actually playing it it looks just like the trailer like that's that's so rare a lot of times games these days show off stuff in the trailers and you're like okay it's not real but it actually this is actually what the game looks like okay something that i just realized that i think is super cool about the layout of this city if you'll notice that this dock here has like these fortifying walls that come into the dock and if you look at how the city is actually laid out like with your castle on the hill your town center in the very middle of the city and then multiple layers of walls around everything and then you have like the river on the bottom like if you wanted to build a castle that was hard to siege from a warfare perspective like this is how you would actually build it in real life and the attention to detail there is really really nice assign villagers to cut down trees for wood so let's have them come over here and we're gonna do we'll set 
three villagers here so we've gathered enough wood now it's time to build houses okay where do we want to build that oh i guess we could just build it wherever we want right is this where we just cut down the tree oh look at that you can actually see them they cut it down and then you see them carrying the wood that's super cool okay so where do we want to build this house is this an existing house if it is i'll build it like right next to it right or let's do like right let's do right here I think that's good there we go so we got 23 seconds and if we assign a villager oh okay so if you assign villagers it actually lowers the time look at that assign villagers to gather berries okay so let's do boom 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 and we're gonna get tons of berries real quick congratulations we can recruit more villagers sign villagers to cut down trees for wood okay so boom 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 we're gonna cut down as much wood as possible we can build a lumber camp to increase wood production yes that's probably a good strategy because we don't want to be cutting down trees all day right like we want to automate that process i think that makes the most sense i probably should have moved that somewhere but it's fine let's assign villagers to make this go a lot faster and now we can upgrade the town center to level two okay so town center increases our troop capacity and military power what else do we get here what's the max level level okay 30 is the highest building level here and every time we upgrade we get more troop capacity up to 40 and it looks like it the first few levels unlock all your different buildings so you probably want to focus on this first oh you get more hero slots as well that's probably the number of heroes per army okay that's really interesting so yeah you're going to want to focus on this in the early game for sure this is going to be one of the most important buildings enemy attack all troops stay alert too many trebuchets the town won't hold up for long Wait a minute. We just started, we just started making progress. You're going, you're going to tell me that you're going to burn the place down already, pal. Like, what is this search for Intel on the attacker? It looks like we have, oh, we have 14 minutes, imminent barbarian attack. Uh oh, so let's go ahead and come on over here. The Canyon is steep and remote and it hasn't been discovered by the barbarians yet. Their camp is not far. I'll lead the guards to scout this time. Look at that massive sword. That's so sick. Search for the trebuchet camp. Okay. What is this? Drag the troops here to gain powerful buffs. Formation skills yield immense power. Oh, look at this. It says select a commander skill to evolve. So it maintains pike formation while remaining mobile for eight seconds. It deals damage to surrounding enemies or Lionheart wedge drags the troop to deal charge damage to enemies along the way with a 2000 damage factor. The charge distance increases based on movement speed. Okay. So this is cavalry and this is pikemen damage to surrounding enemies for eight seconds. This is 2000 damage but it's one charge hit this is I'm assuming damage over time so 800% damage because it's per strike but it also looks like AoE I'm gonna go with this one because that's the one that the game suggests that I go with replace the current commander skill okay this is the column of epics of the Empire tap the commander skill on the right select a target and break through the line take care of the barbarians once and for all we've got four barbarians here it looks like one one two three four this one's the closest he's probably the closest actually so let's walk over here and we'll use our skill um oh look at that oh we're blade spinning we're blade spinning wait I already oh we popped off that was it okay so the 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 AoE basically crushed them I'm wondering if the charge attack would have been able to charge through all four that could have possibly been a good strategy as well drag the troop here to gain powerful buffs okay select an ability to enhance the passive skill here we have three choices each time you deal damage to enemies there's a 30 percent chance of a critical strike causing double damage here we have 20 percent health and this says leaves flames along the moving path for three seconds a 30 percent chance of critting and our skill hits what eight times or something like that so that for each hit there's a chance of double damage I mean this is just vanilla health I feel like this is better for DPS right I'm gonna go with this one Scarlet Rose search for the trebuchet camp okay let's head on over this way who's there show yourself your highness it is I in gratitude for your kindness oh it's Erden wait didn't I didn't I kill him oh I could attack him that's so funny I guess I won't let's kind of come up over here almost there oh I could probably get another skill over here military power plus 40. ah uh, that's right I see I should have killed him you're still as naive as ever oh what a lovely little noble girl yeah see I knew I should have killed him now you've got nowhere to run that's fine watch me pop off I'm gonna get crits on all these dudes watch this ah. oh 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 baby let's go oh we still spinning baby we spin to win we spin to win yes dude oh oh can I run past the AOE oh watch this watch this oh hit him from the back yo hit it from the back oh let's go spin again baby spin to win spin to win yes sir 
Yes, sir. Oh, baby. Okay. I killed him. I killed him again. Imagine how he feels. What an idiot, dude. Imagine how he feels now. Trying to trick me. I killed him twice. All right. I can grab uh, more buffs here, it looks like. We do got to stop that trebuchet, though. That's kind of annoying. Oh, we're definitely upgrading the active skill. Absolutely. Guys, I'm going to be honest. I've played lots of games like this. I bet you the active skill is the most important for any hero or commander in the game. I just bet that's the case. So we're going to put my money where my mouth is and let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to head on over here and we're going to attack these dudes again. We're about to spin to win. Boop. There we go. Oh, dude, you thought. Oh, you thought. Oh, man, you really thought, huh? OK, watch this. Oh, tool can. This guy really thought. What a dummy. What a dummy. Oh, he's got circular AOE. Uh, Let's see. Interrupt it with your commander skill. OK. Oh, we got the kill. We got the kill. Easy. Chief! The chief died. Run, everybody. That's right, baby. We popped off, dude. The Holy Sword is awakening. I can sense its vigorous heartbeats. It yearns for glory in combat. Honestly, same. In this case, it will have more. That was really cool. See, I was, they threw me off there. I thought, okay, we're going to go through the tutorial. Line. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, okay. I was going to, I was like, are we getting attacked again? No, we just got, we got rewards for that. Okay, cool. Let's upgrade our city walls. That way, maybe we won't get attacked again from those silly little barbarians. Okay, let's upgrade that. And can we upgrade it to level three? Oh, we can. So, oh, okay. So if a billing takes less, Less than five minutes you can do it instantly so there's literally no downside to that so let's go ahead and upgrade the house to level two let's do this we can get well it'll double our villager capacity so let's do that and again we can do it instantly because it's free population is growing use a mill so okay i'm also going to upgrade these houses just while i'm here all right let's build one mill and i'll put the mill near the lumber camp actually make the villagers focus on farming to harvest more food okay so let's have them uh head on over here and it looks like build one farm wait didn't i just do that wait hold up a mill what does the mill do villagers work here to produce food upgrade to build more farms i see what does the farm do the farmers herald a good harvest hourly food production of mills oh okay can i move this yes i can all right oh man that's so easy okay so we've got the mill here and we'll put the farm right in front of it oh okay so the mill produces 400 food per hour but if you have a farm it will further increase that production by 200. i assume that's how that is now let's actually upgrade this and if we do it'll increase the amount of food that we can get and i bet you i can upgrade the farm oh no i can't the farm is a static oh you can assign uh, to the farm okay okay that this makes sense okay let's go ahead and build a hospital i suppose we should build the hospital what i think i'm gonna do is like this is gonna be probably like the farm area and then this will be like the house area and then i'll probably do like military stuff over here boom i think that's a good place for the hospital let's put some villagers we got we got uh we got up to 13 villagers here so boom there we go this is honestly one of the most fun tutorials i've ever played for one of these types of games because i feel like i'm discovering things as i'm playing rather than it just like holding your hand the whole time it looks like we have an hour before another barbarian raid so we gotta we, we gotta pop off here what are we building here what is this a second lumber camp okay that makes sense to me let's build it right next to the other one i think that is perfectly reasonable we have to train more villagers now and we can do five build the second mill we're gonna move that over to where the first mill is i think that's a reasonable thing to do i feel like i'm building west fall over here this is dope okay we're gonna get a quarry at level four and now let's go ahead and speed this up excess speed up time will be returned to your items that is so it's such a simple concept but it is so beautiful the fact that you click one button it uses all of your resources that you need like the bare minimum to speed it up and then if you have excess you get it back in your items so there's no penalty for doing that like this is amazing I feel like all games should have this I don't know why they don't boom there we go okay now in order to upgrade the town center we have to advance to the feudal age here's what we get when we advance it says governor with the advancement of feudal age the following will be unlocked guard tower bulletin board and new units okay so you can see we've got trainee swordsmen pikemen cavalry and archers okay this is great so so far we've just been you know getting villagers and we've been kind of using like the swordsmen that we had from before but now we're actually going to unlock troop types which is which is very cool so there's four troop types in this game that's good to know and let's go ahead and advance to the feudal age your highness all your effort is paid off Boosted by our people's support, the Holy Sword is shining anew. Historica, the unparalleled sword, born of the thunderous blaze and forged from the purest silver atop the highest peak. It's the symbol of kingship, the blade of glory, 
The passage of time once tarnished its might, yet it's now destined for rebirth in your hands. Let's go! The Holy Sword Historica shall return to this land. It's been waiting for me. I'm certain of it. With its power, the mightiest armies shall rally around you, your highness, and you will be the queen of destiny. Oh my god, I'm gonna be the queen of destiny, you guys. Oh, we get to choose a civilization. Okay, we've got four civilizations right off the rip here. So let's see, we've got France. French architecture evolved from its Roman roots, incorporating elements of Gothic Renaissance and palace culture. So this will give us 2% swordsman defense, 2% swordsman training speed, and 5% food production speed. And we get a throwing axeman as the special unit. And this is to my knowledge historically significant these troops boast a greater attack range and enhanced damage compared to ordinary swordsmen okay so i assume that if we look at another troop type yes we will have a different special unit here and this looks like an archer special unit so the chuko nu so this is an upgrade to the regular archers okay so the chuko nu of the chinese civilization are going to have higher stats i suspect and perform better on the battlefield than a regular archer unit this looks identical to france except it's for archers and you get wood instead of food let's look at the byzantines byzantine architecture melds the distinctive culture of mesopotamia with ancient roman architectural foundations here we have cav defense cav training speed and then gold production i feel like gold is probably going to be the most impactful here right so again cataphracts historically significant for the byzantines let's see what rome has see i suspected rome would have the stone production here roman architects drew inspiration from the ancient greek styles the design often features symmetrical plain structures robust walls arches domed roofs pillars and imposing towers roman phalanxes employ diverse formation strategies and execute flanking maneuvers from both sides the phalanx is sick just as a formation throughout history oh man this is tough i feel like the gold production speed from the byzantines is probably the best production speed but i feel like stone is going to be maybe a little bit more impactful early game whereas gold is going to be the bottleneck in the end game that's my suspicion here i could be completely wrong about that and also i feel like phalanxes are just really cool compared to the cataphracts i mean cataphracts are nice as well but one of the things that i love here when i'm looking through the four different civilizations like the actual architecture of each of these different castles is completely unique like this isn't just some sort of like reskin or like a recoloring or a different colored roof or something like that like these pillars on the right here you actually see that in ancient roman architecture and that's unique to the roman civilization if you go through that other civs here you're not going to notice the same thing actually i just realized at the top here this looks like the roman pantheon like it's got the columns up front here but then you can see the circular structure behind it it's like they actually took the roman civilization and just built it in the game and the same is true for the other civilizations here it's honestly super impressive and it just looks so beautiful man look at the sunlight coming in and hitting the city walls for france bro oh my god it looks so good i just love ancient rome i think i'm gonna go with rome i think it, technically i suspect byzantine might be a better choice but i'm gonna go with rome because of the aesthetics the lore the phalanxes i think it's sick i think it looks dope i'm gonna go with the roman empire and by the way i'm almost positive you can change your civilization later so there's probably no wrong answer here even though it says are you sure i bet you can change this later so I wouldn't worry too much about that now since I picked Rome I want to come in here and take a look at our boy Julius Caesar here okay and one thing I want you guys to notice here that I thought was really cool of course first of all his armor is literally shining gold in the sunlight his model looks absolutely incredible here but look at the the cape looks like it's actually made of silk like that is the best detail that I've ever seen on a piece of cloth in a mobile game like hello but not only that notice how okay Julius Caesar's wearing this is this is red right he's wearing a red cape and if i come in here to the parade ground you're gonna notice that all of my soldiers here are also wearing red and that's because i picked the roman civilization and in roman mythology the color red for the warriors is a symbol of obviously blood but also courage which is why it was the color of their god of war mars and you'll even see the red banners flowing on the actual architecture here so what i'm trying to say is there's no accidents here from the design of the architecture to the design of the heroes all the way down to the design of the troops on the parade ground everything is tailor-made for your historical civilization which i think is absolutely stunning 
and we're leaving the city gates and there's my citadel by the way guys you can see here i'm in kingdom five that's my server if you guys want to play with me you can use the link down below to pre-register for age of empires mobile or you can actually join the soft launch right now today right now if you live in canada the philippines indonesia france or turkey you can download the game right now and play right now for soft launch and your progress and server five is not going to be reset it will carry on into the full global launch of the game i'm going to be covering age of empires mobile a lot more here on the channel so again if you want to join and play with me join kingdom five anyway i got a little bit distracted there here we can see we're out in the world and oh my god dude the graphics actually look really good dude oh my god like it's like this hybrid of like nostalgic age of empires graphics but like updated to a modern mobile device obviously because that's what this is but let me zoom out here how big is the how big is the world here bro what the map is huge no way you can see in the top right corner oh my god okay so each region looks like it has a capital city okay honestly the game map looks super good like you can see the different terrain even when you're zoomed all the way out and then when you zoom in here you can come all the way down to the mountain ranges directly on the map and you can see the leaves falling there's literal trees that are moving with the wind like this is actually realistic terrain on the map it looks absolutely incredible and I'm just gonna say it okay rise of kingdoms the world map is basically a green square let's just be real there's a couple of little trees a cute little bridge maybe a little bit of a river or something but like this is actual terrain this is a real world map boys this is a realistic world map and it looks amazing and the terrain just effortlessly builds into this massive capital city I feel like I'm actually in this world of Age of Empires like this is actually super cool you can literally see the waterfalls coming out of this city guys we are on the world map and there's this level of detail it's like they took the hanging gardens of Babylon and just put it in the game but it also has like some Mayan architecture going on here as well with the stairs and everything what other games have this level of detail for mobile at least that show this much much detail on the world map bro I can see individual barrels oh my god this game looks gorgeous man okay we've explored the world now we have to defeat level one common barbarians which I suspect are these gentlemen right here I'm sorry but you're going to pass away now oh and that's cool so the barbarians actually have troop types and you can counter different troop types depending on what troops you you are using and that that adds just a little bit of actual strategy to the to the game to like at least the PVE content as well so you can see like the commander here or the hero and we have common barbarians 500 units okay so that should be no problem let's go ahead and click the attack button here and you're gonna see it's gonna cost five what is this currency is this like stamina I'm assuming and then there's also a first victory reward empire coins okay we get speed ups wood and food you can see here that I can send out you know multiple different armies right now I only have one army with Josephine she has 800 units and you'll see here in the top left corner this is sort of the rock paper scissors system in the game okay Okay, so swordsmen beat pikemen and pikemen beat cavalry and cavalry beat archers and archers beat swordsmen I think that is completely logical it's also worth noting that this unit counterplay system makes sense from a realistic warfare perspective right like swordsmen beat pikemen which makes sense because if we're a foot and a half away from each other it's way easier to swing a blade than it is to maneuver like a pole arm but the pikemen beating the horsemen makes a lot of sense as well because as the horsemen are charging at you you have that range but the horsemen countering the archers makes a ton of sense because it's a lot harder to hit a fast moving target on horseback and of course the archers have an advantage over the swordsmen because they're just shooting you at range the swordsmen can't do anything to the archers because they're so far away and the fact that it's so realistic makes it intuitive so it's going to be easy when you're playing the game to remember like what counters what and as you can see I'm actually going to counter this barbarian my swordsmen are going to counter the pikemen and I mean it's level one we're going to win this day. we're going to win this anyway bro like let's be real okay we got our 800 units versus his 500 and let's see what happens when our active skill goes off so we're dealing 39 damage per turn which is good and steel rose we one shot him oh he turned into a ghost did you see that the little details here are nice so okay we get 110 empire coins what's this level three oh experience tomb that's going to be to level up your heroes we have skill points oh okay you can upgrade your skills just by defeating barbarians out in the world okay that's really interesting use experience tombs to upgrade any hero so let's jump into the hero menu here and we only have Josephine she's an attack and recovery hero and let's go ahead and use our singular 
xp tomb and now she's level three continue with main quests okay so we finished chapter one and we get what is this a legendary arrival recruitment token used to perform legendary arrival recruitment in tavern okay so this is kind of like um i suspect this is just like in rise of kingdoms when you have gold keys you use the gold keys and you could possibly get a legendary hero maybe here we go chapter two great ambition what's this is that leonidas legendary hero oh wait a minute wait a minute i can either choose leonidas or mulan he looks so sick oh my god bro but let me see what mulan looks like she kind of a savage okay looks like she might be an archer hero all right we're vip zero baby let's claim our daily rewards here's the vip store oh okay so those coins that we got from defeating that barbarian are the premium currency in the game it looks like also if you download all the resources and updates for the game you get a bunch of free stuff so definitely make sure you do that okay so when we upgraded to the feudal age it gave us a little bit more land outside our city walls and it moved our production buildings outside of the inner walls so they're still behind these walls okay there's our farm and these are the mills we have 18 villagers so let's assign them to the lumber camps so boom 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 and then we've got three assigned to the farm already boom okay we can actually upgrade all this stuff to level four instantly because it's going to be less than five minutes boom okay we finished chapter two that was easy those were all intuitive things that i was going to do anyway next we can build a tavern see i love that i can choose where i put these buildings because like then i can try to like make the city look pretty you know tavern and the hospital are right next to each other because after you've survived your injuries you can go grab a drink here let's upgrade the tavern to level two and okay so you get a free recruitment every day it looks like but you can decrease that by leveling this up here we have hero recruitment so you get one free legendary recruitment i think every day or 23 hours or whatever depending on the level of your tavern recruit five more times for guaranteed legendary hero or hero medals so there is a pity system here which is very good to know so let's go ahead and do our first uh free recruit here and i love this animation this looks really cool it drops like figurines on the on the tavern table and did we summon a hero oh is this joan of arc yo that was the most slick badass entrance i've ever seen this looks like joan of arc baby all right let's see there she is dude okay so she is a legendary i think i don't know if you always get do you always get a legendary when you first summon possibly and does it depend on which civilization you picked anyway um we got Joan of Arc she's a legendary hero that's insane I love to see that actually can we see what her skill does deals might damage to two enemy troops in a fan-shaped area in front with a damage rate of 119.2 percent this is probably what happens if I upgrade it so we can ignore that for now and you also get a might bonus grants 150 initial rage upon entering battle okay so she's got an AoE and a rage engine with a 300 rage cost I love that and then victory banner we have oh a signature skill a hero's unique skill that cannot be removed or learned by other heroes what about the active skill commander skill takes effect when a hero is a troops commander oh okay so this won't happen if she's like maybe the deputy or the secondary in battle 10 points of rage are accumulated every second the skill can be used by consuming a rage okay so it takes 30 seconds to cast this when hit with a normal attack there's a 20 percent chance to immediately counter attack and deal might damage once to the attacker with a damage rate of 32.78 bonus counter attack damage up to once per second oh and you can switch between simple details and extra details i always recommend extra details that's going to help you understand the game a lot better and she is a pikeman okay so that's really good let's do a 5x recruit here and what do we get oh is that guan yu oh it's guan yu okay so we got a Harold the third medal. We got two more Joan medals. We got three Josephine medals and three Guan Yu medals. Wait a minute. We're just getting a ton of legendary stuff for free. This is sick. You definitely don't want to spend your premium currency on these. These are, these are gambles. Okay. You don't want to spend it on gambling. Okay. I don't, I don't recommend that. We finished our hospital upgrade, which is great. Oh, we can train two more villagers. Cause we've got space here. Train level one swordsman. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and do that. Wait a minute. I want to see what the troop types look like. So this is level two. Oh, and these are aren't even special units because I picked the Roman Empire and they have special pikemen but it looks like all the troops are kind of stylized for the civilization so this is tier 
four units got that cool looking helmet there tier five looks very similar tier six looks even better with gold everything and then tier seven so seven tiers of units in the game anyway we can train 20 swordsmen deploy the new hero in your second troop okay so it looks like they guarantee give you Joan of Arc which is nice so here we can make a second army and we can put Joan of Arc in that army tap the recommended unit type to maximize the power of course yes remember what I said before Joan of Arc is the pikeman unit you can see right here so we might as well use pikeman boom now we can go ahead build a gathering workshop at level one so let's go ahead and gather here we'll use Joan of Arc to gather Joan of Arc is just doomed to always be a gatherer huh so it looks like we're going to be building a gathering workshop over here is that what's happening so she is here she is gathering she is occupied with that task and we are moving on to chapter four rebuild from ruins defeat level two or higher barbarians we can do that no problem at all cost the same amount as the level one and boom upgrade the hospital level four we did that already let's upgrade city walls it's going to take six minutes that's fine oh we can join an alliance okay join an alliance for the first time to get 100 empire coins remember those are the premium currency this is like probably my biggest tip guys join an alliance as soon as possible just join a, you want to start making friends you want to start getting some helps on all of your different uh, buildings and everything like that what region am I in here I'm in Gaul so let's go ahead and see if we can find an alliance in Gaul military region Gaul yeah okay it looks like it actually oh okay so you'll see the region that you're in is in is in white if you're not in the region it's in red this one I'll just join it's the second best one I can get into let's help everybody here oh and they have a discord button oh that's so good dude that's so good they need that in all games like this okay click here to automatically heal wounded oh okay great so you don't have to worry about coming back here now we can request help from our allies there's that upgrade the town center to level five baby our city walls oh we can request a assistance here but actually it should be done automatically right yes because it's less than five minutes and now we can upgrade this and ask for assistance now watch this as my allies are going to press the help button it's going to decrease the amount of time that it takes for that building to complete here you can see 20 look at that you see how the time is just going down like it'll it'll jump down as people click this button boom you help the allies and now I helped them build whatever they're doing, which is nice. See this governor assisted with your town center. It's literally free speed ups. Like if you're in an alliance, you get free faster building. Okay. So if you want to progress and gain power fast in the game, join an alliance as soon as possible. Absolutely. You always want to do that. So look, we saved about five minutes from joining an alliance already, and people are still helping us. Can we change our name? Actually? I can let's do it. I don't want anyone to, to steal my name. Let's go. Nobody took my name. Okay. This is great. What do I want uh, my icon to be? Is this Genghis Khan? Oh wait, this is me. This is actually me. Oh, and you can change your civilization. Okay. Oh, it's really cheap. It's only 200 currency to do that. Okay. I, I wonder if they're going to give us a way to change for free at some point like maybe a one-time thing possibly you get that from progressing through the stages if not 200 premium currency they give you that for free as you start playing the game so there is no like making a mistake there which is really good citadel theme oh there's different oh there's different city skins oh my god this looks so good look at this dude look at this oh my god they look so much better than the default too this looks fire bro this looks so cool we have gifts Ooh, as people defeat barbarians, we get free gifts. Another reason to join an alliance as soon as possible. You get lit you literally get stuff for free. Let's actually say hi to my alliance. You always want to make friends in these games, okay? Next, we can build a quarry. Let's build it right next to the actual mountain. That makes complete sense. I like the way you think, video game. Let's get it to the max level that we can without having to spend time. So look at that. We've we've saved maybe nine minutes by just having people help us out there which is nice. I'm just going to speed up the rest of the way. Alliance stronghold is being built right now. Let's see where their alliance is on the map. It's very important to teleport or move your city next to where your alliance is going to be like headquartered. Okay. You can see on the map here, the green dot is where I am right now. And this is where my alliance is being built. It looks like in nine hours, this will be finished. So I probably should teleport right over here. Relocate. Yes. Okay. So targeted relocation, limited time. Let's relocate right here here boom there we go let's go baby this looks like the alliance leader 
he's 250,000 power already I'm 50,000 power already so there we go so we've teleported our city next to our Alliance leader and that's good because he's much stronger than I am right now so if anything goes down if people attack me which they can you can see this bubble over my city prevents me from being attacked right now which is something that they give all beginner players which is very good by the way but once this bubble goes away like this dude for example you're going to want to be near stronger allies and, and Alliance members so always teleport nearby your Alliance okay here we have a daily login event so you literally get a free legendary hero Hammurabi just by logging in for a week so this is amazing this is going to be our third free legendary hero for just by playing the game so guys if you haven't started pre-registering or joining the soft launch like I highly recommend doing that okay oh look at all the events we already have and here we have some sort of battle pass that's also really good let's claim our progress here but here we have an event calendar oh my god there's so much stuff to do on day one what guys make sure that you join all their social channels by the way I'm gonna have them linked down in the description below but once you join them and follow them all on all their social medias you can get 500 premium currency currency literally no downside there oh and here's the daily quest so you can actually access your daily quest by clicking on the chapter here so here's the story quest but here's dailies so let's go ahead and do this what do we get for maxing this look you get a free summon every day by doing your daily quests so guys if there's one thing that you do every day you want to max this out you want to do you just complete all these things and look these are all things that like you're going to be doing anyway so you might as well right now another reason that you want to focus on upgrading your town center before anything else of course there are going to be some prerequisites here but besides those the reason that you want to focus on this is because the max level of your town center is also going to be the bottleneck for the max level of everything else in your city so now that I have a level five town center I can upgrade the level of my mill here right what do we got going on for the city walls oh we can set a garrison okay I'm going to choose she's a higher level so we'll just do that and we've got a level three barbarian here so let's go ahead and do that and let's see how we actually perform I feel like we actually didn't perform super well on the um on the last level two attack here so let's see how this goes I'm curious to see what this is like and bada bing bada boom they've got more troops than we do but we counter them actually we might have had about the same so either way it's fine um let's just cast our active skill did I do it or did it happen automatically I couldn't tell but either way we're popping off here boys there's nothing to worry about we're gonna win for show we're gonna win for show all right and there's that all right we've beaten the barbarian upgrade any hero to level 10 so let's go ahead and do that oh okay so the upgrade button automatically just uses whatever you need to get to the next level you can upgrade the hero signature skill so you'll see the upgrades available here boom so you know what you're going to get when you upgrade it which is nice and you can see her stats here as well this is might damage right her active skill here her commander skill sorry is might damage and here you can see how much might she has and so she has more might than pretty much anything except for siege also I noticed here upgrade the hero to level 20 and commander skill will automatically upgraded from level 10 to 15 okay so that's really good so basically your commander skill will upgrade automatically as you level up the hero and then you can use your sort of skill points here you see in the top right corner these are universal you can use these on any hero which is amazing you can use those for the other skills here which is really nice okay I'm learning guys I'm learning this is very cool and now we can proceed on to the next chapter ladies and gentlemen we are getting so many free uh units here is very good all right let's go ahead and build our university which I do think we should put next to the tavern I think that does make sense logically this will be like our little town center over here research military tech to increase your strength in combat I actually don't want to do that I want to do economy first I guess we don't have a choice here so we'll upgrade that instantly and just as another tip for you guys always focus on your economy tech in the beginning of the game because the more production you have of resources the faster you can actually push the higher levels of city hall and when you do that then you'll be better prepared for the end game fighting so really you want to do resource first then military second that's my recommendation for everybody okay oh let's go we can finally build our pikeman barracks I'm really interested to see what the special units are going to look like here so we've got regular pikemen for the first few tiers here right advanced pikemen veteran pikemen senior pikemen and champion pikemen I probably have to progress my town hall a bit farther into the game before I unlock the special units right my town center sorry because remember Rome does have special units in the form of the phalanx pikemen I believe right only oh, of the archery range already and we can build a stable for the horses 
All right, let's start to train some more units here. So 23 minutes. You always want to be training, always be upgrading, always be researching technology. Okay. And here we have our watchtower. So let's actually let's upgrade our watchtower and 45 minutes for the town hall, which again, we're going to get helps here from the Alliance. The assistance is free. Don't, don't waste, don't waste speed ups. If you can get something for free, right? God, the game just looks so beautiful. I can't get over that dude. The waves are hitting the shore. Look, you can literally see deer. There's deer walking around, man. This game looks actually gorgeous. Wait, there's fit. You can see the fish in the ocean. Look at the river running and there's even fish in the freaking river, dude. Let's go. We're hitting chapter eight already, baby. Troop commander assign villagers to quarries. Oh, I haven't done that yet. Really? Okay. Boom, boom, boom. We're done. Wow. Chapter eight was easy. We already did chapter eight earlier. Oh, we can unlock the next level of swordsman, baby. Oh, okay. So here is you get swordsman attack. And then after that, it's the next tier of swordsman. Then there's capacity defense next tier of swordsman. Okay. So you actually unlock all the different troop types through research makes complete sense to me. I'm going to multi-select and we're going to synchronize them and we're going to spearhead with Josephine. The spearhead is going to touch first. So that way it's tanking, which is really cool. That's the one that counters the barbarian. So I wanted her to be uh, tanking. And by that, I mean, uh, Josephine, you can see here. She's the, Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. I almost messed that up there. That's fine. Let's use the active skills here and bada bing, bada boom, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. It is lit. And we are on chapter 10, ladies and gentlemen, we're cruising. I feel like we're doing what we got to do. We're literally popping off. Oh, we can build the dock. Let's do the fishing okay start fishing three two one okay what are we doing the longer you hold the farther you'll throw the fishing line okay so there we go oh that's probably too far huh oh there we go okay oh i see okay so you want to throw it a little bit farther oh this is an interesting mini game i kind of like this is this giving me like food or is the fish oh what's that what's that stuff back there oh that looked like it was important that looked golden let's see if we can get that Oh, look at that. Oh, baby. Oh, I'm messing up. Do I have a certain number of uh like fishing attempts or ended? Okay, that makes sense. Oh, you exchange the points. I see. Okay, that makes sense. That's a pretty cool mini game. I actually like that a lot. Okay, we have 12 elite recruitments. Let's go ahead and do that here. Let's see what we get. And we get a bunch of epic stuff. We actually got a full Than Thanius. Thanius. Sorry if I mispronounced that, but we just got a full epic hero here. Very cool. We have, he's a gathering hero, which honestly, that's very good for the early game. You absolutely want a gatherer for the early game. And then let's go ahead and do eight of our legendary summons. And let's see what we got here. We get, okay. A bunch of a legendary medals, Harold, Hammurabi, Joan of Arc, and another Guan Yu here, 2,500 skill points. That's actually probably huge. So we are making progress, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I think that's going to do it for day one here in age of empires mobile. I, I am having a ton of fun with this game. I've been looking forward to this game for months now, so I'm so happy that it's finally here. If you guys want to pre-register for the game or join the soft launch for the available countries, like I said, Philippines, Indonesia, Canada, Turkey, and France, there's going to be a link down below. Download the game with my link. It's absolutely free. It helps out the channel a ton when you do that and give the game a try because this is probably going to be the biggest city builder launch of 2024. In my opinion, I really think this is going to be a big deal. Like I said, I'm going to be posting way more videos for Age of Empires Mobile in the future. So subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time I upload one of those videos so you don't miss it. Comment down below your thoughts on Age of Empires Mobile. Have you give the game a try yet? Are you excited to play it when it comes to your region? And while you're down there, drop a thumbs up on the video. It really helps out the channel a ton. It helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other people might see it. And I want to thank Age of Empires Mobile once again for sponsoring today's video. If it weren't for generous sponsors like them, I wouldn't be able to do what I do here on YouTube. So again, download the game in the description below. With that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace